Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to discuss the merge sort algorithm in computer science. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, what's going on people? Merge sort. Merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. Basically what we do is that we will pass an array as an argument to a merge sort function. This function is going to divide our array in two. We have a left array and a right array. These will be subarrays, and we will copy the elements over from our original array to our two new subarrays. And merge sort is a recursive function, so at the end of merge sort, we will call merge sort again and pass in our subarrays that we create. And again, the merge sort function is going to divide our arrays in two by creating two new subarrays and then copy the elements over. And we will stop when our arrays only have a size of one. And that's where sorting then merging come in. And with the process of merging and sorting, we will create a second helper function named merge. Merge will accept a total of three arguments, our left subarray, our right subarray, and the original subarray in which these elements came from. Merge is going to take these elements and put them back into their original array in which they came from in order. And we will do the same thing with the next grouping of arrays until all of these elements are merged back into their original array in which they came from, all in order. Now in practice, when we do execute this merge sort function, instead of tackling all of these subarrays like one layer at a time, we will tackle them by one branch at a time. So it's going to look a little something like this, where we will start with the leftmost branch and then work our way towards the right. So I'll speed up the footage and just give you a rundown of how this works in practice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the merge sort algorithm. The merge sort algorithm has a runtime complexity of big O of n log n. It runs in quasi-linear time, along with quick sort and heap sort, which we still need to talk about. So when working with large data sets, merge sort is faster than insertion sort, selection sort, and bubble sort. But on the other hand, the merge sort algorithm uses more space than bubble sort, selection sort, and insertion sort because we need to create new subarrays to store elements, whereas bubble sort, selection sort, and insertion sort can sort in place, so they use a constant amount of space to do their sorting, unlike with merge sort. Now let's move on to the hands-on portion of this video and create a merge sort function in code now. 
All right, well, let's get started. We'll need an array to work with, make up some numbers, make sure that they're not in order, as well as a for loop to iterate over the elements of our array. So currently our array is not in order, but that's gonna change soon. Let's invoke a merge sort method that we still need to declare. This is going to be a recursive method and we will pass in an array. And each time that we invoke this method, we will split our array in half, create two subarrays, and then copy the elements over. So let's create and declare this method. Private static void merge sort, and we'll need a helper method too. And we'll name this merge. A helper method is just a method that helps another method basically. So private static void merge. And there's going to be three parameters within our merge method. Int left array, int right array, and int array. Remember that these are arrays of integers. The first thing that we're gonna do within our merge sort method is that we need to get the length of our array. So let's cache that within a local variable named length. Int length equals array dot length. And we'll need a base case too. When do we stop recursion? If length is less than or equal to one, then we shall return. And this is our base case. Basically with this merge sort method, we're dividing our array in two each time. If the length is one, there's no longer a need to divide our array further. And we'll need to find the middle position of our array. Int middle equals length divided by two. And we'll create two new sub arrays. Int array left array equals new integer array and the size is middle and we'll create a right array integer array right array the size is length minus middle okay now we need to copy the elements of our original array to our left and right arrays so we'll need two indices int i equals zero this will be for our left array and int j equals zero, and this is for our right array. Then let's create a for loop. We don't necessarily need to declare a new index here, we can just use i. So I'm going to add a semicolon. Our condition is i is less than length. Then increment i by one during each iteration. So our condition, is with an if statement if i is less than middle then we will copy an element from our original array to our left array left array at index of i equals array at index of i else we will copy that element to our right array else right array at index of j, remember that this index is for the right array, equals array at index of i. Then let's increment j by one. Okay, this is where recursion comes in. So outside of this for loop, we will call merge sort again and pass in our left array. So we'll consistently divide our array in half. We'll begin by dividing the left array, then the right array, with a separate recursive call. So left array, then right array, and then call merge. So with merge, we have to pass in our left array, right array, and our original array, because we'll put the elements back in order. Left array, right array, and our original array that we received as an argument. So that is it for the merge sort function. Let's work on merge next. First thing that we're gonna do within the merge method is cache the size of our left array and right array within some local variables. int left size equals array dot length divided by two. int right size equals array dot length minus left size. And then we'll need three indices. int i equals zero. This is for our original array to keep track of the position. L will be in charge of our left array 
and R will be in charge of our write array. And these will be the indices that we're using. Okay, the next part, we're going to check the conditions for merging. And we can do this with a while loop. So our condition is going to be while L is less than left size and R is less than right size. So basically, while there's elements within both our left array and right array, we will continue adding elements to our original array. And we'll need to check to see which element is smaller. If left array at index of L is less than right array at index of R, then we will copy the element from our left array to our original array. So we're basically comparing the number on the left to the right and adding whatever number is smaller back to our original array. So array at index of i equals left array at index of l. Then we can increment i, increment l. So if the number on the left is not smaller than the number on the right, we have to copy the element in our right array to our original array, and we can use an else statement. Else array at index of i equals right array at index of r. Increment i, increment r. So there's probably going to be one element remaining that we cannot compare to another element because there's only one left. So let's write a while loop for that condition. While l is less than left size, then we will take array at index of i equals left array at index of l. Increment i, increment l. Then we'll need another while loop. If r is less than right size, we will copy the last right element over. Array at index of i equals right array at index of r. Increment i, increment r. And that should be it. Let's run this. And our array is now sorted. In conclusion, everybody, the merge sort algorithm recursively divides an array in two, sorts them, and then recombines them. The merge sort algorithm has a runtime complexity of big O of n log n and a space complexity of big O of n. So that is the merge sort algorithm. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that is the merge sort algorithm in computer science. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.